What's up guys, Mr. Game is back for another drift build. Today we're looking at the RS500. Um, this was mentioned in a previous video that someone wanted a drift build, his name was Carl. Uh, so I've gone ahead and I've done the drift build. As you can see I've done some slight, slight styling upgrades on it. I mean I've changed the rear spoiler to black, the wing mirrors to black. And I've also quickly mocked up a little design for them front vents and I've put them in black. Um, they're not perfect, it was only quick. But I think this thing looks absolutely beautiful the way it sits, lowered all the way down with a slight camber on the front there. And that front splitter really does set this off. And we've got a slight tint to the windows. But um, anyway, we'll get straight on into the tuning and upgrades. So, as for the engine, I've left it stock. It's already rear wheel drive, so we didn't have to change any of that. As the stock engine's got enough power. Um, all the upgrades in here we've maxed out bar the turbo I did try it with the race turbo which sat at 517 horsepower and that was just too much power it just kept spinning it round and round no matter which way I adjusted the tuning it just it just wouldn't have it so I brought it all the way back down to a stock turbo which gives us 430 horsepower obviously with drift builds it's not always about power so yeah we have dropped it down to 430 horsepower as for the suspension and brakes, we've all obviously gone maxed out. Drivetrain, everything in there is maxed out. I believe we went for 17 inch wheels. I'll just quickly check that. Yeah, we went for the 17s. Um, I think these BVS has really, really set the car off. I really do. As for rear tyre size, we have gone for the 245 30 17s. And on the front, of course, is stock. 205 40 17s. Uh, I can't remember in which section they were, I believe it was this one for the BBS, where are we, there we go, the BBS E55, I've put them in a chrome as well, and I just, I think it looks beautiful, I really do, such an iconic classic car, and it does really drift, drift well actually, now I've put the tune up into it. Um, as for tyres, we've gone for the street tyre compound, I think these work best, I didn't really need to try anything else on this, it was sort of a pretty much get into it stick a little bit of a tune up into the car and it just drifts really well um, so if we head on over to the tune I'll quickly run by that we've got front tyre pressure at 33.5 we've got the rears at 26 the gearing I didn't actually touch this this time I didn't need to so that is stock alignment we've got a minus 2.6 in the front for the camber the rears we've got a minus 0.4 the toe we've got a 0.4 on the front the rears we've got a minus 0.3 and for the angle we've gone for a 6 degrees anti-roll bars, I think I did soften these up just a tiny bit you'll obviously have to make the adjustments to your car, I mean I might not have touched them but just check the springs, I definitely know I softened the springs up on the front and the rear the ride height, obviously I'm sitting as low as it goes the dampening, I did touch a little bit in here um, we're going for 6.1 on the front of the rebound stiffness and 5.8 on the rears. The bump stiffness we've gone for 4.7 and 4.8 on the rears. Uh, I haven't touched the aero, I didn't really see the point. The rear braking balance we've got 10% to the rear. I don't know why that says 10% because I'm sure that shifts it all the way to the rear which is what I've found. So, but yeah, that, just copy my settings guys. Uh, braking pressure we've gone for 140, I've gone a bit higher on this, I just found it helped for me to get the thing sideways a bit easier. Um, the differential we've gone for 95% on the acceleration and 15% on the deacceleration. That's it guys, I mean copy it, tweak it a little bit to your standards, to whatever you feel you need to do. Um, let me know down below in the comments how you get on with it and please make sure to like and subscribe for more.